Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Brother Frank speaking to you from the International Mission Center in Krefeld, Germany. May God bless you richly wherever you may live, that we shall all live to the glory of God, expecting the return of our Lord to happen very soon. We understand this is the last call going forth worldwide. Looking to the past weekend, we just praise the Lord for having brought so many people to hear the true word of God, not interpretations, not explanations, but the original word of God. And so I'm now almost ready for my next trip to Hong Kong, to Manila, to South Korea, to Peking, and also to Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia, sharing the precious word of God promised for our day. And I always say the first and the last sermon must be the same. The first and the last baptism must be the same. The same must be with the Lord's Supper. We are returning to the original beginning, respecting the divine order right from the day of Pentecost, when the New Testament church, when the redeemed were established as the church, the body of Christ, the true believers, God had promised to dwell with us, to live in us, and by the grace of God, it's not an empty word. Every promise is connected to the fulfillment thereof, and also looking to the first coming of Christ. There was a prophecy fulfilled, as our Lord himself said, I will send my messenger before my face to prepare my way before me. When the time was fulfilled, the word of the Lord came to John the Baptist, and he began his ministry. He was a man sent of God, a man called by God, and his ministry was confirmed with all those who came to hear his message, to believe his message, and to be baptized in the Jordan River. Then, after the New Testament began, we say the Apostle Peter, in divine authority, preaching the first sermon on the day of Pentecost, repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Then we also see the other apostles. We see John, the apostle, having his place. We see James having his place, especially in Acts chapter 15. We see those ministries 
placed by God into the New Testament church. And then we read about the commission the Apostle Paul received in Acts chapter 9 and also in chapter 22 and 26. We read about his calling. Beloved, I just wish to say this in love. Before a commission can be carried out, there must be a call. The Lord himself must call his servants to the ministry. And about the Apostle Paul, we read in Acts chapter 26, in verse 14, the second part, and saying to me in the Hebrew language, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? We all know the testimony of the apostle, his calling, his ministry. But here, the emphasis the Lord spoke to him in his mother tongue. In our day, the Lord spoke to William Branham in his mother tongue. And if I say today, the Lord spoke to me on April the 2nd, 1962, just before sunrise in my language. The Lord will always speak to us in our language, even if somebody would speak in other tongues, it would have to be interpreted so that we come to know what the Lord said in our own tongue. But the testimony of the Apostle Paul goes a little deeper. It says here in verse 16, but rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee. For this purpose, for this purpose, there's a purpose connected to a divine call. Therefore, I have appeared to you for this purpose, to make to make thee a minister and a witness of both the things which you have seen and which you will see and will appear unto you. Beloved, God has given promises and these promises have been fulfilled through the course of time with God's people and also with God's servants. And here we read in verse 18, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. What a glorious ministry. For this purpose I have appeared unto you, to be a minister, to share the word of God. Through the preaching you will give them light. At the beginning the Lord said, let there be light, and there was light. And our Lord said, Whosoever follows me will not remain in darkness, but have the light of life. Beloved brothers and sisters, coming to our time, 
I would say it's an absolutely great mystery for God to send his prophet in our day to even open the seven seals to give divine revelation and share the mysteries with us. And beloved, that is why Brother Branham used Revelation chapter 10, verse 7, 55 times in the plural. Revelation 10, 7 speaks about a mystery, one mystery, about the mystery of God. But Brother Branham, as a seventh church age messenger, a prophet promised in God's holy word, in the Old and New Testament, he was called to reveal the whole counsel of God, not only one mystery, the mystery of the Godhead, but all the mysteries from Genesis to Revelation. So we say and acknowledge his ministry with gratefulness towards God in our hearts. And beloved, to even think about the privilege that a brother Frank, who was born in Poland, lived in Germany, get in contact with the man of God living in the USA, and then, by the grace of God, being called directly to go from city to city to share the Word of God. Beloved, I say this in the name of the Lord before the Almighty who will judge the living and the dead. On April the 2nd, 62, I heard the voice, the all-penetrating voice, the all-commanding voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not easy to give this testimony. But the Lord addressed me and said, My servant, your time for this city will soon be over. I will send you to other cities to preach my word. I just collapsed, fell over front to my left. And brothers, you will never understand as you can never imagine, to hear in this natural body that supernatural, all-powerful voice of the Lord. This body cannot stand it yet. But by the grace of God, I could manage to stand to my feet again. And brothers, I reached out both hands like this and said, O oh Lord, they will not hear me. They've got all things in plenty. They're not ready to listen. And I was looking towards the window and the second time the voice of the Lord came from the up but from the right saying, my servant, a great famine is coming, store in food, for then thou shalt stand amidst the people to give out the food. These words are just as true as every word of God. You know my testimony. I don't need to go into detail 
but Brother Branham confirmed it. And repeating word for word in the English language, the Lord has spoken to me in the German language. And brothers, also those moments on December the 3rd, 1962, when we were together, Brother Branham, Brother Sotman, Brother Woods, and Brother Frank, I shall never, never forget when Brother Branham, sitting opposite Brother Frank and saying, the food you to put in store is the promised word of God for this day, and it's kept on the tapes which are being recorded. And going into detail that the Lord would send a famine to hear his words, not explanations, not interpretations, but to hear his word. Looking back, the Lord gave me the grace to preach his word. And now I've been to 158 or 59 or 160 countries, beloved brothers and sisters, sharing the precious word of God. And even from the mission center, the sermons and the meetings we have here at every first weekend we share with 172 countries and the believers everywhere. And we are grateful for the divine call, as certain as the Lord has called the Apostle Paul, has called Brother Branham. I'm not Paul. I'm a brother Branham, and brother Frank. I'm not worthy to be his servant. But exactly 14 times since 1962, the Lord addressed me as my servant. Precisely 14 times the Lord spoke to me addressing me directly, my servant. And so I have just done what the Lord has called me to do. And the message of the hour has spread all over the earth, in all nations, in all tongues, as the Lord promised to Abraham, in you, all the nations, shall be blessed. And as it says in Revelation chapter 5, that they sing this song, and the Lord has called from all nations and tongues people to be his priests and share with him the kingdom. Beloved, may God bless you. May he be with you. If we can be of any service to you, just let us know the return of Christ is very, very near. May God bless Israel. May God bless all the nations. May God bless his people in every continent on the earth. The grace and the peace of God be with you all. In Jesus' holy name, amen.